Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been a bit absent lately, but I've been really, well, busy is uh, normal busy, but I've been going out a lot, so uh, I haven't had time to really um, dedicate any time to videos, making videos, but I do miss it. Anyways, this is my obsession of the week. And by the way, before I begin, I just want to um, insert a picture of the J-Lo look that I did uh, last week, which um, some of you said that couldn't, they couldn't see the picture, so I'm going to insert it in now. So I hope you liked that tutorial, and um, so I tried to do it um, as close as possible to that picture. So let's start with this week's obsession. So this, um, so my obsession of the week is basically, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I went out and I bought the Retin A, otherwise known as, this is the box that it came in, and this is the name of the product itself, and it's called, I can never say this, let me just say it, Tretinoina, 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 I don't know, it's, this is the product and the brand name, the name of the brand is Retin-A, so this is not the generic one, um, I paid it 24 euros and um, the one, the generic one, the pharmacist said that it was 13 euros but they didn't have it so they had to order it and I said forget it, I'm too excited to just start on this Retin-A routine so I just bought this one for 24 euros now I used it uh, three times so far Monday Tuesday which was not good because they say to either skip a day or do it every three days but I was too excited so I used it Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday I skipped and uh, last night Thursday night because today is Friday I used it and let me just tell you that after Monday, the first night I used it, I saw an immediate result on my skin. And um, I don't know if you can probably tell, but you know, it's just more luminous and more compact. But let me just tell you, the, day, the morning after I woke up and I saw my skin was still like dewy and glowy. Usually when I wake up in the morning, it's not that dewy and glowy. And then I looked at myself in the mirror what I suffer from is basically I have a lot of peach fuzz here on my face since I'm blonde. Thank God the hair that I do have on my face is blonde. But if any of you have it, you know that it kind of gets in the way of your makeup. And I've, you know, I've had electrolysis done. I've had laser done. I've had many things done. But it's the white peach fuzz that never really leaves because the later laser doesn't pick up on it. Well when I woke up the next morning it had really like almost removed almost all of my peach fuzz so that's why it also looked more luminous and brilliant and stuff so I was like extra happy about that and um, you know because probably the peach fuzz is so much in this in the uh, upper part of your epidermis that it just kind of like removed it and so I was really happy um, and I saw an immediate result now in the instructions it says if you do have acne or prob problems of that sort you should use it at least once a day at night so you apply you cleanse your face then you tone it you put some toner then you apply a pea size amount of this and just um, spread it all over your um, skin and then you apply your moisturizer now that's what I did and you know that was amazing the morning was great and although the second night when I used it I um, after the second night during the day I felt a little bit of um, like my skin was a bit oversensitive like today last night I used it I think I'm just getting a little bit too carried away with this and I'm putting on too much but you really do need a pea size amount and so um, of course you have to put like protection and so um, my skin today is a little bit sensitive more than usual especially like I sort of tend to need to scratch it a little bit it kind of feels tingly and it's very very sunny outside today so I'm trying to like be like a vampire and not go in the sun anyways uh, I also wanted to tell you so on the whole excellent the 
glow, the dewiness of the skin is amazing. And then I had two huge like pimples from two weeks ago and one here that would just not go away and um, with this cream it's dried them and like a little bit of flakiness happened and then like it's all they're almost gone so I was really really happy about that I can't tell you much more than that because um, I've only used it three times but I can tell you that the results are immediate on my skin you can't overdo it because um, I'm probably gonna continue doing it one day yes one day no or maybe every third night because I am um, um, seeing some sensitivity in my skin and make sure if you use it you put um, full sunscreen I recommend it to any person who has breakouts or pimples. I rec I'm, a, I'm not a doctor, but I can recommend it to any normal woman like me that wants um, to better the skin because, I mean, we can use all the creams that we want and we can spend all the money that we want on creams, but if you can, you know, buy it for 13 euros or 24 euros or whatever and resolve all of your problems, and then just put a regular cream on. I mean, why not? Why go and get? Why go and get like a, a glycolic peel or any of those things when this really like exfoliates um, the upper um, layer of the skin? And oh, another thing that I wanted to tell you is that I have I'm very fair skinned, as you know. And here it is so pretty. Um, my little freckles came out, which I knew I had, but they were like buried under my I guess you know, layer of dead skin, and so I, um, when I have no makeup on, I can actually see a little bit of my freckles that came out, and um, I found, I find also another thing, not only is my face more luminous, but it has more color, like I have actually in the morning, um, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm red, I just have more color, like you can see almost like a, a, a healthy, nice flush, blush to the face so it all helps me and I am definitely addicted to this it's my obsession that's all I want I want my skin to be perfect and um, I also have been putting less foundation because I don't feel the need to put as much foundation on what I really um, am working with this week and even last week and it's still my obsession um, is the Garnier Roll-On um, Concealer. I love this stuff, I'm still using it. Anyways, let me stop talking about that. And um, then another obsession of mine is this nail polish I'm wearing. And I've never told you guys about this brand, but it's called, it's an Italian brand and it's called LCN. And it's an amazing, amazing nail polish brand. Um, I don't know if any of you know it, but I think it's even superior to OPI. It's, um, it's great. It's like, it's just like Kiko. I think I love Kiko nail polishes too, but this one, um, costs a little bit more than Kiko. Kiko, you know, is like, I think three euros. It's really cheap, but it's great. This one might be like seven euros, but, um, first of all, the colors are wonderful. And they duplicate colors like Particulaire from by Chanel. That is a very similar color that they made. And just in all, their nail polish are, nail polishes are extremely pigmented. And this is only one layer that I have on. And it takes a long time for this nail polish to, uh, nail polish to chip. And um, it's very easy to apply. That's what I like. It just glides on no problem it's the easiest nail polish i've ever used to apply colors with so another big obsession of mine this week and i really am so excited um for this is that um i need to buy a purse and i love the purses by the brand un jour un sac and um i already went twice to check them out but they don't have many models here so I went on their website and it's lovely like canvas bags like tote bags and the handles are interchangeable so you can use like all the colors that you want and buy like leather or plastic or fabric anyways they're my favorite purses and um, I bought one many years ago and then um, 
I lost it and so I want another one I actually bought had bought another one and the bag was like a sort of like very tough paper it was really pretty and there's leather and other um, fabrics and stuff but um, so I'm really undecided and since my friend Sarah is coming tonight tomorrow after I finish working we are going to go together and pick a bag out and I can't wait to buy it but I'm very undecided so if you go on my blog um, I have posted pictures of the three purses that I like and um, maybe you can help me you can help me uh, choose the color and you can tell me if you like them and um, maybe if you like them you can even buy them I think they are the most amazing purses I love them it's my style is it's great for work it's great for every day and I recommend them to everyone and I'm not joking and really I really like them and any of the things that I say guys I mean not one penny goes into my pocket because not one company has ever called me anything I show you is because I like it and it's kind of like my style promise so I just want to share with you this little thing and if you want to see also how that is going on um, I will definitely tweet about it because uh, when my um, friend Sara comes I really listen to her opinion so we will go together to the shop and I will show you so don't forget to check out my blog and yeah and that's that so anyways that is my obsession of the week I don't have uh, much like I said I mean I have been going out a lot and uh, that's not good because also um, I've been getting to work a little bit late in the morning and that's not good anyways oh yeah another thing I wanted to uh, tell you is that you know how I make my jewelry my own jewelry these two rings and this bracelet and uh, what else I had made I don't remember right now but I had another something that I wanted him to do and I don't like it and I'll show it to you now and um, I just don't like it it's I won't say anything you tell me what you think so it's a little charm and uh, it has a diamond the diamond is my grandmother's diamond and on it I don't know if you can see I'm just gonna turn it It says my name somewhere um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up I believe you can see my name I didn't ask him to do it. I just wanted a like a regular circle that went around, but he did it kind of a little bit too ethnic for me, and it's all irregular and stuff. And I didn't ask him also to do all these, like kind of like scratches in the middle. And yeah, I don't know, guys. It's a little bit too ethnic for me. Although it's pretty, but I don't know. Uh, you tell me, should I keep it or should I have it made into something else? Um, um, it's kind of disappointed. And um, I mean, the diamond's really pretty in the middle, but I'm kind of disappointed because it's really not my style. I didn't want it all irregular, but what am I going to do? Anyways, that's it for me today, and um, I will maybe do an outfit of the week if I have time this weekend, and I'm going to try and convince my friend to do a makeup tutorial because she is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She's like a modern um, Sophia Lauren, and her mother actually looked like Sophia Lauren a lot. And um, if not, well, whatever, I won't be doing any videos of tutorials this weekend. Sorry, guys, but I just don't have any time and maybe she can film me an um, outfit of the day that would be nice whatever i can i will do and i will try to upload this tonight because now i have to rush off to school and then i have to go pick her up so thanks again for watching and make sure uh, you if you want to and if you like to follow me on twitter and see how this retin-a routine is gonna continue going so have a great weekend everybody i wish you all the best and mwah, have fun bye